In Lost Lights, two players battle with their party of adorable animalistic characters for control over the regions of Aminar. In the beginning, each player will draft 10 out of 27 beautifully and individually illustrated cards. On each player's turn, they'll be playing cards from their hand and taking an equal number of actions to the action point value on their cards. These will allow them to duke it out with the other players. Now, let's go over how to set up the game. To set up the game, place the map and the battle dice in the middle of the table. Each of you takes 15 crystals of one color to your personal supply. Pick a starting player and they will go first. Then players will prepare for the drafting phase. One of the players will need to shuffle together all of their character cards and put them face down between them and their opponent. Then they each draw two cards from the pile. They keep one and they give the other to their opponent to keep. This is repeated four more times until each player has 10 cards. Then the other cards are discarded. If you've never played before, you can start out with one of the pre-constructed decks that are designed to be played against each other. Next, the first player, let's pretend it's you, will take their first turn by placing one crystal onto the game board, and then it'll pass to the other player and continue until each player has placed three total crystals. Players may place more than one crystal in one area, and they may not place a crystal in an area that's already occupied by an opponent. The game is played over a number of rounds in which players will take actions and or fight in battles. The game ends if the players have no more character cards left in their hand. Every turn consists of two phases, the reinforcement phase and the battle phase. During the reinforcement phase, the players will add forces to areas on the map and move their forces. Each player discards one character card from their hand to gain action points equal to the blue number on the card. You can spend these in two ways. You can add a crystal from your supply, one of the areas in which you have at least one crystal. This costs one action per crystal, or you can move one or more of your crystals from one area to an adjacent area on the map. The cost of this is one action point to move a single crystal or any amount of crystals in a group from one area to an adjacent area. Players may also combine the two possibilities to spend their action points in any order that they prefer. For example, if I were to discard Tanilla, I would then move these two crystals one area over, and then I would add three crystals to the area I just moved them to. The battle phase only occurs if there are areas in which both players have crystals at the same time. If this does occur, the players resolve those battles until every battle area, an area with crystals from both players, are resolved. When resolving a battle, each player will choose one character card from their hand and place it face down in front of them. Then, both players will reveal their chosen character cards simultaneously. You will each resolve the character card's battle ability, starting with the active player's card. Cards with the lightning bolt icon on them have first strike, and their battle abilities activate first. Each player rolls battle dice equal to the number of crystals in their battle area, and then they pick one of those battle dice as their battle result. Players may spend any number of crystals from their supply to re-roll the same number of battle dice. They can do this for as many battle dice as they spend crystals, but no more than one time per battle, and they remove those crystals from the game permanently by putting them back in the box. Or in our case, these bowls. These crystals are very important to gameplay, so you'll want to spend them wisely. Players will then calculate their total battle strength. You calculate battle strength by adding together the following. Your result of your chosen battle die, your battle strength of your chosen character, and the number of crystals in your battle area. The player with the lower total battle strength loses the battle, and all of their crystals are removed from the battle area and put back into their supply. The player with the lower total battle strength loses the battle, and all of their crystals are removed from the battle area and put back into their supply, not removed from the game. In the case of a tie, the defender always wins. This process will repeat until all battle areas on the map are resolved. The game ends if both players have no character cards left in their hand. In this case, they add up all of their points for each player. Or, the game will end immediately if any player has no more crystals on the map. In this case, the other player wins the game. You receive scores as follows. Each of you receives one point for each crystal you have left on the map. If you control the majority of areas in a region, a region is made up of three areas of the same color, then every crystal in that region counts as two points. All other crystals on the map count as one point. And that's how you play Lost Lights. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and like our video if you enjoyed it. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming.
back our Patreon.